Everything Paul discusses in the book of Hebrews reaches its crescendo with the most marvelous list of heroes in all the Bible. I like to call it Hebrews Hall of Faith. All of Jesus' work as our High Priest, His place at the right hand of the Father, His authority here on earth would all be meaningless if there were no people who were willing to share the journey with Him. Paul takes some of the most inspiring of our forefathers of faith and he highlights for his audience that all of the great men and women of past history had one common denominator in their experience that made it stand out. Faith. It was repeated 26 times in this chapter, that word, faith. Paul explains that faith is, itself, the substance or assurance of receiving the things that we hope for, and it's the evidence of things that we cannot see. Although we cannot see certain things happening, like we cannot see Jesus in heaven's sanctuary right now, his ministry there for us is as sure to us as gravity or that the sun will rise tomorrow morning. Starting at the very beginning of human history with Abel, Paul explains that it was not the temple, not the sacrifices or the ritual or the rhetoric that bound together their forefathers. It was just pure faith in God. When Noah walked with God and built an ark for the saving of his family and himself, just as God had told him to do, in order to be saved from something that had never been seen before, a worldwide flood, Noah had faith that what God said would happen, and it happened. When Abraham left his family to journey to a place unknown, he did so because he took God at his word. When Moses received the law, when Rahab protected the spies, Gideon and Samson, David and Samuel, and all the prophets experienced miraculous victories and accomplishments, and they all did so by faith. By faith, kingdoms were conquered, justice was administered, promises were kept, the mouths of lions were shut, Daniel escaped from the lion's den, and his three friends escaped the flames through faith, that is, through trusting God without reservation. Through faith in God, His strength is made perfect in our weakness. Faith moves mountains. It lifts us on the wings of eagles and takes us from the foot of the cross to the throne room of heaven. To that list, made 2,000 years ago, many names have already been added. Thousands more, tens of thousands more men and women just like you and I have braved fire and sword shame and ridicule, all in the name of the Lord and for the glory of God. May your faith and may mine find a resting place in God. And may our names also be added to Hebrews' great hall of faith. <laughs>